Back in the early 90s, Bust a Move or Puzzle Bobble, I, I think it was everywhere, man. Holy crap, brings back so many memories. I remember an Asian market down the street from me at the time. We would go there, get some snacks, you know, whatever. There's a little Caesars in the same shopping center. Like, you know, Caesar, Caesar, give me a little prize type of thing. You know, roll the gumball on the machine, try to win a breadstick. I, I don't know, it, just good times. And there's pet store down the other corner. There's a 39 cent hamburger stand down the street. Memories, man, memories. Like these games bring back specific memories of a time and a place. But I remember Bust a Move just like every time I would go to the store. They had a Neo Geo machine. And it seemed like, you know, whenever I went anywhere that had a Neo Geo, you know, MVS arcade machine, they would have Bust a Move. It'd be like Bust a Move, uh, Samurai Showdown, maybe the first Metal Slug, you know, in the uh, multi slot systems there. But it was always Bust a Move, man. I played the crap out of it all the time. So seeing that we have a new, you know, there's been plenty of Puzzle Bobble, Bust a Move games over the years, but now we have this Puzzle Bobble. Every bubble, it kind of threw me for a second there. Coming out for the Nintendo Switch, uh, it may already be up. Uh, I do have it downloaded. I was given early access to the game, which I kind of, you know, flubbed that. I haven't played it yet, but we're going to play it. I want to check it out. I want to see if it's worth a damn type of thing. But here we go. This time, the game that started it all comes back for a brand new bubble bursting four player co op adventure for the first time in the series. So, four players. I'm not going to read all this. But you could check it out on Nintendo's website. There's a physical edition as well for the same price as the digital. Uncomplicated, relaxing, and enjoyable gaming for all ages in the whole family. Timeless action, various items and gimmicks. Story mode with up to four players, first for the franchise. One versus one, two versus two multiplayer for the first time in history of the series. Cooperative story for up to four players. An online multiplayer for up to two. And then there's this unique game crossover, Puzzle Bobble versus Space Invaders, that is included, which I want to check out. Let me go ahead and get this opened up. But here we go. Puzzle Bob. Every, everywhere there's a bubble, every bubble, I don't freaking know. But let's play this thing. Let's check it out. So it looks like we have a little story action. This is Rainbow Island. A land where bubble dragon children live with their bubbles. They take down the bad guys, go on lots of adventures. Mini runes look a lot like those bubble dragons, only they can't blow bubbles. Sorry, little dudes. They wish they'd be able to blow some bubbles. I shall grant your wish, this little freaking thing says. Here, drink that. Man, if, if some random dude comes out and is like, hey, drink this, this little potion here, you'll be blowing bubbles. I'd be a little cautious, my friends. I don't know, you're ever in a dark alley and a dude approaches you with a little potion. Mayhaps, don't drink it. All right, we got story or versus. Ooh, that puzzle bobble versus space invaders down at the bottom. We'll come back to that. Clearing the bubbles. Yeah, we... This isn't This isn't the first time I've played this type of game. Save chat. Save chack and... Save cack. Oh, it doesn't, like, give you the little... Like, complete cheat to be like, okay, you can aim it right away. So if we just hit this green one, everything's going to go away. That's a three-star performance right there. Hell yeah. Come on, challenge me, dude. See, we got three stars in everything. But what's the EX stage? Unlocked by getting three stars in all the stages. Okay. Oh, they're like slow. They're going down slowly. Oh, bombs. Ex the bomb bubble explodes on impact, popping bubbles in the area. Can be okay. Whatever. Let's go. Come on, man. Oh, I missed. 
This kind of, like, since they're slowly moving, it kind of makes it a little harder to, um, to aim here. Three stars. That's all it is, is that time meter up that, you know, up there, the upper left. How many stages are there? Oh, shit. What's these clear ones? Blank bubbles. Change to the color of the bubble that makes contact. Okay. Cool beans. I already got this planned out. All right, this is going to be the last one before I jump to that Space Invaders crossover. But yeah, this game is um This game is relaxing, you know? When I went into this, I kind of had a rage within me, like just building unbridled rage, just wanted to punch a bunch of babies type of thing. And this game's really relaxed me and um I no longer want to punch a baby. So I I mean, that's kind of a good thing, you know? If you're a rage-filled person, um, this could be a, a beneficial game for you, you know? Just chill, pop some bubbles, save some chicken-looking things. Y you know, pay attention to the st I don't know what the hell is going on, but, you know, pay attention to the story a little bit. You know, not everything's got to be like, you know, what's your loadout, you know? Upgrading weapons and killing things, just destroying stuff. You know, sometimes just bust a move, man. And chill. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a few stages, man. I'm not even I don't even think I'm barely halfway like not even halfway through that that stage. So there's there's a decent amount of uh stages here. I mean you're just busting bubbles though. Oh, oh shit. Dude, this is <laughs> Oh my god. This is kinda cool, man. Well, watch out for their little, their little shots. Give me, give me, no! Oh, that's kind of cool, but definitely be a lot easier with multiple players. Holy crap! Well, I'm gonna end it here. I sat here, you know, trying to get into a global match for a while, and I just disconnected because it wasn't matching me with anybody. Maybe it's just nobody's playing it the game's not out in all regions yet i don't know but I, I think this is a cool little game um if it's your style you know not everybody's into this kind of stuff obviously it's not going to be for everyone it does bring me back a bit but for me personally it's fun it's cool that that puzzle bobble versus space invader like i would buy that by itself like if it was a little five to ten dollar game i would have bought that by itself the rest of this, it just makes me want to play the original even more. But hey, there's there's a lot of content here. It looks like pretty interesting. Four players online, the extra modes, really cool stuff. Let me know what you think. Really do appreciate you guys. Bye. I'm relaxed now.